Fragrant Cinders by Babette Cole. Prince Cinders by Babette Cole. Prince Cinders was not much of a prince. He was small, spotty, scruffy, and skinny. He had three big, hairy brothers who were always teasing him about his looks. They spent their time going to the palace disco with princess girlfriends. They made poor Prince Cinders stay behind and clean up after them. When his work was done, he would sit by the fire and wish he was big and hairy like his brothers. One Saturday night, when he was washing the socks, a dirty fairy fell down the chimney. All your wishes shall be granted, cried the fairy. Ziz, ziz, boom, tick, tack, ta. This empty can shall be a car. Biff, bang, bong, bo, bo, bo. To the disco, you shall go. That can't be right, said the fairy. Toe of rat and eye of newt, your rags will turn into a suit. Drat, thought the fairy. I didn't mean a swimsuit. Your greatest wish shall grant to you. You shall be big and hairy too. Prince Cinders got big and hairy, all right. Rats, said the fairy. Wrong again, but I'm sure it all wears off at midnight. Prince Cinders didn't know he was a big, hairy monkey. Because that's the kind of spell it was. He thought he looked pretty good. So off he went to the disco. The car was too small to drive, but he made the best of it. But when he arrived at the Rockin' Royal Bash, he was too big to fit through the door. He decided to take the bus home. A pretty princess was waiting at the stop. Eek! Ugh, ugh. When's the next bus? He grunted. Luckily, midnight struck and Prince Cinders was changed back into himself. Doing! The princess thought he had saved her by frightening away the big hairy monkey. Wait! She shouted, but Prince Cinders was too shy. He even lost his trousers in the rush. The princess was none other than the rich and beautiful Princess Lovely Penny. She put out a proclamation to find the owner of the trousers. The Princess Lovely Penny decrees that she will marry whoever fits in the trousers lost by the prince who saved her from being eaten by the big hairy monkey. Fitting sessions begin today. P.L. Every prince for miles around tried to force the trousers on, but the trousers refused to fit any of them. Of course, Prince Cinder's brothers all fought to get into the trousers at once. Let him try, commanded the princess, pointing at Cinder's. They won't fit that little squirt, <laughs> sneered his brothers. But they did. 
Princess Lovely Penny proposed immediately. So Prince Cinders married Princess Lovely Penny and lived in luxury happily ever after. And Princess Lovely Penny had a word with the fairy about his big hairy brothers, whom she turned into house fairies, and they flitted around the palace doing the housework forever and ever. I hope you enjoyed this fractured Cinderella story all about Prince Cinders. Maybe you could think of your own fractured fairy tale. <laughs>